Glee's curse, every tragedy that has happened so far. A haunting curse lurked in the shadows, ruining the lives of its stars. In the bright world of Glee, where dreams fly and music unites hearts. Behind the cheery exterior, a string of terrifying events played out, leaving a path of heartache and grief that haunts followers today. Join us on an engaging trip as we explore the Glee phenomenon's many facets and expose the startling incidents that have tarnished the show's reputation. We examine the terrifying truth behind the infamous Glee's curse and the unseen tales that have permanently altered this beloved musical comedy series, from heartbreaking losses to stunning scandals. The phrase the Glee curse was unavoidably coined by internet social conspiracists due to this and several other upsetting incidents, such as claims of bullying on set. Let's get to know why. Starting with Cory Monteith's struggle with alcohol and drugs. Cory Monteith, best known for playing Finn Hudson on the popular television series Glee, battled a protracted and difficult battle against drugs and alcohol. Corey acknowledged that he had a serious problem with drugs in 2011 and talked frankly about his problems with substance addiction. This open admission revealed the personal struggles he was dealing with despite playing the attractive and gifted football player on TV. Even though he was aware of his problem, Corey didn't decide to make a big move toward recovery until 2013. After realizing how serious it was, he voluntarily entered a rehabilitation clinic for a month-long treatment program to address his substance addiction. He most certainly underwent therapy, counseling, and other interventions while in rehab to assist him in escaping the grip of addiction. Sadly, Corey suffered a terrible setback after finishing the initial treatment and showed indications of improvement. He relapsed and started abusing booze and narcotics again, including heroin. In Vancouver, Canada, tragedy struck on July 13, 2013 when he was discovered dead in a hotel room. It was later discovered that an unintentional overdose caused by a lethal mix of heroin and alcohol was the cause of the death. Corey's unexpected death shocked the entertainment industry and his devoted following who lamented the loss of a gifted and adored actor. Then we learned about Mark Sailing's death and conviction for child pornography. In 2015, Mark Sailing, best known for playing Noah Puck Puckerman on the television series Glee, encountered a disturbing and extremely stressful legal scenario. Authorities detained him for having a significant amount of child pornography on his laptop after receiving a tip from one of his ex-girlfriends. He had amassed 600 recordings with youngsters including explicit material with prepubescent minors and almost 50,000 pornographic photographs, according to the data gathered throughout the inquiry. Mark was formally charged in 2016 with child pornography-related offenses. He decided to enter a guilty plea to the possession of child pornography involving a prepubescent juvenile in September 2017 after realizing the seriousness of the issue and the weight of the evidence against him. Mark Sailing's life took a fatal turn before the court proceedings and sentencing could be completed. He was discovered dead in a Los Angeles park on January 20, 2018, when he was 35. Suicide was identified as the cause of death. Fans of Glee, who tried to reconcile the person they saw on television with the horrible crimes he had pleaded guilty to and others who knew him, were horrified by his passing. The circumstances surrounding Mark's case and premature death sparked debates on the difficulties associated with mental health, the terrible effects of child abuse, and the significance of addressing and preventing such crimes. It also generated discussions about how the entertainment sector should identify and deal with those who engage in damaging and unlawful acts. How can we overlook Naya Rivera's unintentional drowning? Naya Rivera's passing was a tragic and devastating event that rocked the entertainment business and her fans worldwide. On July 8, 2020, Naya traveled by watercraft to Lake Piru in California with her four-year-old son, Josie Dorsey. During the excursion, a sad set of circumstances culminated in a catastrophic occurrence that took Naya's life. Authorities claim that Naya and Josie were swimming in the lake when strong currents and erratic conditions overcame them. Naya could hoist her son back aboard the boat, saving him in the act of bravery and love for her baby. But in her heroic attempt to save herself, she unfortunately perished by drowning. After she vanished, a significant search and rescue effort was started to find Naya. Law enforcement organizations 
divers, and volunteers all contributed to the search, which lasted many days. Finally, Naya's body was discovered in the lake on July 13, 2020. The news of her passing shocked the entertainment industry as her co-stars, friends, and fans paid tribute to her and expressed their sorrow. And there are the bullying claims made against Leah Michelle. Leah Michelle, who played Rachel Barry on the Glee program, was accused of on-set bullying in June 2020 after her former co-star Samantha Ware accused her of using traumatic microaggressions while co-starring. Leah's conduct on set came to light because of Samantha's tweet, which inspired other cast members to share their stories. One of Samantha Ware's co-star, Heather Morris, who portrayed Brittany Pierce on Glee, backed up her allegations. Heather admitted that Leah was difficult to work with and said she should be held accountable for her rude behavior toward others. Leah apologized in a statement after the accusations and the rising public anger. She expressed regret for her actions and their effect on her co-stars in her apologies. She accepted responsibility from the harm she caused and admitted that her actions were unacceptable. Later, during an interview with the New York Times, Leah spoke about her viewpoint and clarified some plausible causes for her behavior. She spoke of her propensity for perfectionism and the enormous strain she put on herself to do well and make no mistakes. Leah claims that because of her level of perfectionism, she became unaware of how her actions affected other people and exacerbated the hostile work climate on set. Leah has now made a comeback in her career and is playing the lead role of Fanny Bryce in Funny Girl on Broadway after being dropped by her employers and having some time off.